Alright, what's going on guys? Got a video today of glow shift gauges. I recently ordered a wideband air fuel ratio gauge. Not sure if I told you guys that or not. I got probably a week later I ordered another gauge through them and I noticed that the brightnesses on the gauges were two different brightnesses. I contacted Dennis from Glow Shift and he's been super helpful. He sent me a shipping label. Uh, I sent him a video just to show him that either with the dimmer switch on or off they were both different brightnesses so I didn't have to take all the wiring and sensors out of my car for the O2. It made it super easy. All I had to do was package up just the gauge itself in a box. I used the one that I got from uh, the other gauge and I'm shipping it back to them. They paid for the return shipping. You can see behind me here I've got some black carpet material and some wood cut out. That wood is uh, cut out specifically for my car's hatchback area. So it'll cover the wheel well and where the passenger seats used to be. That'll just allow me to put stuff in my car now whereas before it kind of was really difficult to put things in my car just because there was nothing flat for things to lay on. Uh, like my subwoofer box, for example. You might be able to see it in the background over there. I just had it sitting in the wheel well, and it wasn't secured on anything. It just kind of flew around wherever it wanted to, which wasn't good. This will definitely help. I can secure it down on this. It'll just give me a smooth surface. I have nothing that's, you know, I don't have back seats, so there's nobody going to be sitting back there, and the spare tire I don't keep in my car, so... It's just all empty space that'll just be covered and this will also be used to deaden sound in a way. I'm gonna put the wood in there, wrap it with that black carpet material. So I just wanted to let you guys in on the glow shift gauge, uh, the wide band. It had a little bit of issues with the uh, lighting inside of it, but it's nothing to worry about. They're just gonna replace it. The odds of this happening is really slim. The guy I was talking to said he's never heard of this happening, so they're gonna you know, take the gauge in, tear it apart and see what's going on inside. It's really not a big deal. They paid for the shipping. My car's under the knife anyway, so it's not like I'm using it. The glow shift gauge is going back. I'll be getting a replacement probably, unless they can fix this one, which is fine with me. What I plan on doing is just taking that, those two boards, because it's in two pieces so I can get it in and out of the car, and just lay them side by side. What I'll do is take that carpet and I'll cut around it, a mold around it. I'll probably leave like two or four inches on each side all the way around so I can tuck it underneath and staple it or uh, put velcro on it, whatever I decide to do. So I just wanted to let you guys in on that. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.